Hi, this is Ken from the Free Plane community. I just want to show you a use case for the Free Plane presentation tab. It's, it's available in version 1.6.1 alpha as of February 19th, 2017. I recommend uh, if you're trying to do presentations in Free Plane, uh, you use that because it, it had some recent fixes to it. Now this is a just some notes I I took on watching an online video about how to do a word study in uh, the original language of the Bible in the New Testament, at least Greek. And these are my notes. There's a lot of them that are text, and I'm sorry I zoomed out so you could see the whole thing. A lot of it's text, such as these nodes here, and these nodes and this section here. Some of it is uh, screenshots I've taken. So it's a mixture of, of stuff. So I'm going to go to View and Toolbars and I'm going to open the pre Properties panel. Now on my computer it's F9. So if you hear me saying F9 that's what this is. So the Presentation tab is over here. Now I've got this set up so that I have two presentations. One is just called Phrasing and it has, let's see, it has 10 slides. The second is called Alphabet, which has four slides. And I have my preferences set up so that unfold all slide nodes automatically. This is a brand new option here, and I highly recommend you put check mark on that. Uh, it's going to navigate through the slides by pressing up and down arrow key and it'll bail out of the presentation by pressing the escape key. It's automatically going to activate full screen and go into presentation mode. Presentation mode is where it's like in a theater where the lights dim and then the, the screen lights up so you're focusing on the screen. Everything else is in shadows. And combine all presentations. That means that those two presentations that I showed you it's going to start here and then it's automatically going to go into that one. That gives you the ability to break up your presentation, your overall presentation, into kind of mini presentations so that each one is not overwhelming in the number of slides you have. So I'm going to go back here to the first one, go to the first slide, and I'm going to go into the present. So that's the first slide. I'm going to move this mouse cursor out of the way a little bit. Now I'm pressing down arrow key. So it's going. It's not going to show all the slides in my map. I want to be more selective about that. So it uh, goes slide by slide. Now this one is a little tricky. I have to press shift left arrow key manually to get all this working and it's it's really uh, pretty handy that in the middle of pre my presentation I can open up the icons and let's say that if this is a left indent I want to illustrate that with uh, the back arrow this one over here is right indent I want to illustrate that with the forward arrow and then I take away my icon now I'm going to go back a slide and then forward again, do my shift left arrow. So it's just in the middle of my presentation, I can decide, well, wait a minute, uh, this would be clearer if I did some editing. I can do that right in the presentation if I want. Okay, I'm going to the next slide. So this is one of my screenshots. This is another screenshot. And then shift right arrow will allow me to light up everything that I wanted on this slide. The next slide is another screenshot. And then we go down to the, uh, this is now going into the second presentation. So down arrow key, and it shows me the Greek alphabet. Now down arrow key, and if I do a little manual manipulation. I wish I could automate this. 
Uh, there's probably a way. I just haven't played around with it enough. This shows me um, the part of my map where the alphabet chart is here. And then there's uh, a node here that separates this part from these. It just shows me that's what's in row one here. But let's say I want to zoom in on this, so I, I really don't need to show that now that I've shown it once. So the next slide is, it's taken that out of there. And that's the last slide in the, sh in the presentation. But the way that happens, see in the actual map itself, there was that one. But this last map has a filter set on. So this node and these nodes are all filtered by a style called Greek no icon. So it filters everything else out. That's why it doesn't show this one. Let me just uh, fire the presentation back up again, go to the previous slide. Again, my manual manipulation. And then the last slide is this way. So you can, uh, you have a lot of control over how much uh, of your map you can selectively show in your presentation. Um, I'll do a later one on the actual mechanics of how to set this up, but I just wanted to show a one use case of how you could take a, a map that had a lot of information in it and selectively show the parts that you wanted. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.